Greetings, my name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And, well, I think I've, I think I've solved that issue of the fuel consumption last time, where full power was giving something like over triple the fuel cost, but it's only supposed to be giving double. Sort of? I mean, it was very strange. I had to, like, the, I had to really screw with, like, the, tur the turbo fuel boost th in the settings. Or for some reason I had to set it to like 1.25 to get double. I don't understand it. But that's not important because we have the fucking Nonary token. Now, we've got all nine of them. As you could probably guess there's nine of them if you know what Nonary means. Now, we go to London. Well, first we go to the Iron Republic to get fuel because we are very nearly out of it. That's it. Yes. Ten-ish. Alright, let's get the delivery. Ah, fuck. Yeah, that's working. It's like it. Yeah, I know that it was giving usually ten, but sometimes nine, and this is giving usually f and normal speed is usually. Five, sometimes four. So that sounds about right. Close enough, anyways. I don't understand the way that math works. It doesn't make any sense. How does a 1.25 times multiplier equal around two times, and a three and a two times multiplier equal like over three times? It just raises too many questions. Wait, shit! I just remembered. I need the brilliant souls, or else the one guy will get pissed on me. Ah, I don't want to go all the way to Savior's Rocks. Where is it that he wanted me to pick them up at? Um, it, ha! Going through this is almost as annoying as going through the Fallen London Journal. Well, no, that's way- that one's way worse, but it's a- Ah, here we go. Something up- Pick something up where?! Oh, no. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dock here, then... We're gonna cut the game, edit the save so that the... One stat is that lower, or the one objective quality is that lower, so I don't have to deal with that. Better living through blatant cheating. Okay, it worked. Alright. Should now just uh, pick up the new recruit. Doink. All right. Now, before we do the stuff with the uh, nonary tokens, we should finish the armless hunters storyline. Armless hunter. All right. She means to slay the goddess who never was and never will be, and she can't do it alone. The this is why I picked up the three doomed monster hunters. It's a very expensive war party, but it's worth it. The grand finale. She stands as you get close, her bones stretching and popping, uh, popping unsettlingly. Well met, she mutters. I am prepared. Thank you for allowing this. Let us face our destinies together. Don't follow us. She lurches away, and the monster hunters follow her, loping slowly down a side street to some shadowy destination. Over the next hour, London screams. Silver light crackles from house to house. And explosions fill the air, seeming to come from around every corner, yet nowhere at all. At long last, there are a series of successive cracks, a drawn-out and disturbingly human scream. And then... Nothing. Only one of the hunters makes it back. She staggers toward you with one hand holding her insides in, the other dragging a sack of prizes. I bid you claim our weapons, she says, smiling through clenched teeth. Thank you 
for allowing this. And there we go. We got our Kepa being treasures refunded. We got two Searing Enigmas, which is, by the way, why I didn't want to spend Searing Enigmas on this. <laughs> because it, we get more Kepa being treasures than this. And we got 11 hunting trophies and a sliver of platinum. Thinner than your fingernail. Lighter than a feather. Could herald the end of everything. And witness the armless hunter's grand finale. And there we have it. Now then, spend some time with my family to reduce that terror. Where is it? Now, finally, we. Once more, we walk the terraced path. You take the path on some forgotten muscle memory, as swift and familiar as the trek to your own lodgings. You've been here before. You're certain of it. But when? Was it days ago or years? Is this reflex an old habit or a deep scar? Was it even in this lifetime? And come to think of it, where the bloody hell are you? And here we go. Give a nunnery token to a spiraling flower. The dirt here is disturbed. Is this where these belong? Of course, where else? A burial. Of sorts. There are other flowers like it, but this one that you find yourself drawn to. But this is the one that you find yourself drawn to. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Its stems coil clockwise. Oh, its stem coils clockwise around a dusty stone pillar near the grave garden's center, while its petals, the color of your own eyes, swirl in the opposite direction. You kneel down and dig gently with your hands, planting the token at the plant's roots. When you stand, you find that the flower sits slightly higher on the pillar than it did before. As you turn away, you spot the cautious grave mender placing a package on a bench and darting away without meeting your eyes. A gift? On inspection, you find a narrow, black flower waiting for you, preserved in a gleaming layer of jeweled amber. It's unclear whether the treasure's housing is meant to be a part of the exhibit, or an attempt by the grave mender to empty the grave garden's storage shed. Spiring flower. The spiral climb. And I think this is the same text. Yep. We can pluck it now, but of course we aren't going to. Still the same. Maybe I'll change once I hit seven. Seven is the number, after all. And one last one. Give a final nunnery token to a spiraling flower. The dirt here is disturbed. Is this... Oh, that's the same. One last Isaac seed... The ritual has become familiar. You bury the token alongside the others and stand. The spiraling flower is finally able to look you in the eye. I am aware, it whispers, that it was not for my sake that you have gone to these lengths. But even so, I thank you. It is not enough for beings like us to simply bear fruit. They must be consumed and the seed spread. It rustles, sighs. But let us delay no longer. My time has come. I will grant you passage to my world for a little while. Pluck me and lay me down in the place where I belong. It pricks your finger as you snip it from its moorings. With a whispered apology, it slips into your breast pocket. You look as dapper with it as the nobles of old. Yeah.
a little bonus for doing all nine. Because you can actually do this, you know, obviously pluck it before you get all nine and... Just... But yeah. Plus nine height. A plucked flower. You've been accepted in the right fruit shop. What? I think that's the wrong text. Whatever. And now... Bring the spiraling flower to the vine-covered gravestone. It's a short walk, but it may be the longest you've ever made. Silence. Close your eyes, the flower whispers to you. You do so and take a step from the path. Forward. Forward. Keep walking, the flower whispers. You keep moving your feet, entranced, past or through your destination, into Keep your eyes closed, the flower whispers again. We are all around you. Ask and you shall receive. You dare not open your eyes, but you can feel the rustling and whispering of the plants around you. The spiraling flower in your pocket may be the only thing keeping them from descending upon you. You have entered the realm of the Umwelt Dynasty. And yeah. So yes, here we have it. We have nine of these favors. We can trade them for Searing Enigmas, or we can sit, trade them for rather more unique rewards. And of course, each, uh, each one of these will become cheaper the next time I do this. I don't know how much cheaper. I think it's like it might cost one or it might cost two. Something like that. So you could potentially get these much earlier in the game by just getting a few of the uh, nonary tokens. Or oh, where's the fun in that? Alright. A weapon like no other. The Z must be tamed. Surely these creatures who live among the dead know something about dealing death. Handheld Fury. There's something great. There's a great shuffling from around you, and something is pressed into your hand. Something so small, but you can feel the pain and anger radiating off of it. Grief of this magnitude can sink ships. It was. Uh, Unwelt Dynasty. Grief. It was only a dream. It's time to forget. It's time to forget. But it was only a dream. Ask for... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. There are more... Uh, you can't actually get all of them in one go. No, I could have sworn there used to be three. They used to cost three. Hmm. So yeah, I get. Uh, I suppose you're supposed to, you know, go around and get these over the course of multiple captains. But where's the fun in that? There we go. Now I have just enough for all of them, as it should be. Because frankly, forcing them to really me to do the same quest over and over again through a bunch of different uh, um, captains is just, nah. I'm not a huge fan, especially considering the result. So you know what? Fuck your balance. I'm getting everything, and you can go climb a tree. Not knowledge is power. A book like no other. Knowledge is power. The first edition. The air fills with noise. Hundreds of shouting alien voices, all trying to tell tales at once. You feel a vine wrap around your ankle, then crawl up your leg, around your torso, and finally deposit a book into your waiting hand then wither into dust. The Book of Nine. It speaks of many things, seems to be grasping at a conclusion, but has failed to reach it. Ah, yes, Book of Nine. I forget what this does. It might just be the plus 25 secrets, honestly. Who knows? And now, 
a ship like no other. You wish to sail the Z like a pedal across a lake. Except perhaps with somewhat more haste. The first edition. It waits for you already, the spiraling flower explains. Go to Irem. Show them this. Something soft and smelling of mold drops onto your head. Dead, a dead flower. Insignificant. Well, except for that one thing. And that's that then. Ask for an ending. Once and for all. No more games. Concerned murmurs. There's frantic discussion among the flowers. They bid you go to King Eater's castle, the spiraling flower informs you, and bring what you, what you will need to say goodbye. You know, one of this, the first whisper of a phrase. I... Yeah, what if I do this again? Okay, no. If you leave, you will not be able to return. Be sure that you have all that you need. Yes, I do. An unfriendly farewell. The air grows coldly quiet as you lay down the spiraling flower and turn your back on the Umwelt dynasty. You take a single step and trip over an exposed root, landing face first on the back on the path where you began. Well, that's that then. Or is it? Yes, of course, there is one last thing to do. To King Eater Castle. Let's go. Wait, first. Let's check out- Oh, first of all, we should finally actually, you know, sell that damn weapon I've been meaning to sell all the time. The Hell Thrasher. Finally. I'd sell the Serpentine, but eh. Um, well, uh, Dynasty Grief. Oh, it's a f uh, Costs one lamentable relic per use. It was only a- uh, yeah. Deals 50 life damage, 10 crew damage, only 10 whole damage, but pretty nuts. Uh, don't have any sense. It's kind of a weird weapon, honestly. It's certainly like no other, but I'm not certain it's worth using over the Memento Mori. I mean, it's definitely the, uh, it's definitely like the, it's probably the best, uh, weapon for capturing ships in the game, but, and actually there's a pretty good way to, uh, get loads of lamentable relics. I just don't like, uh, using weapons that cost you stuff to fire them. Yeah. Let's see, where is the good knives? Yep. Book of Nine. Alright, now let's go. And here we go. Seek an ending, once and for all. Enough of the Z, enough riddles. The goddess awaits. Do we have the whisper of a phrase from getting the nine non tokens? The gift for the goddess from Nuncio, and the sliver of platinum from the armless hunter. Here we have. You kneel at the pyre and burn the gift and the platinum together. The beginning of the, f of the phrase catches in your throat. The goddess never was and never will be. But now, just for a moment, you can almost imagine that she's... She is the adventure you never went on. The story you never told. The child you never had. She is the countless other lives 
better lives you never lived, so close but immaterial, untouchable. You grieve for them. You grieve for her. I'm sorry, you choke out. You sought an ending, but there is no ending here, not for people like you. You will live. You will carry your grief forever. You never left your home. You never earned a tail, and you never had a child. Those thoughts are only dreams. The dreams of a goddess who never can be. As the fire dies, so does she. And that's it. That's the end.